while we play the game. Uh, when a guy like Kevin Durant is hitting these shots, it's a joy to watch. It's an amazing to be a part of. And um, that was a grinded out type of game. It wasn't pretty, but we got the job done. Clay, is there a, I know you guys love playing at home and winning at home, but is there a certain satisfaction in overcoming what you had to overcome tonight with this crowd, this venue? Definitely, they were loud, but it's just... It's nice to win wherever in the playoffs, honestly. These wins are hard to come by. This team's been great the whole postseason at home. And um, we got a good memory. We, we know what happened last year when we went up 3-0. They came out and set records. So we got to keep that in the back of our mind and stay hungry. Sean was reflecting uh, about uh, Kevin's shot in game three last year. It was a dagger. Similar shot tonight. Player that lives yeah. at the moment or talked about. I think this one was more of a dagger because it put us up six rather than just one point like last year. But, um, you know, still went out of the game, even though you're up six. So you can relax a little more than we did last year because we only up one. But that was an amazing shot. I mean, he looked like he was 37, eight feet out the, outside the rim. So uh, when he's got it going, like I said, he's almost impossible to stop. It appeared defensively that they were going to focus on you guys on the perimeter. Was that the difficulty on, the, on making the shots? Yeah, they did a good job trying to take away our three, but I thought we did a, a better job of executing, getting the ball to our role man and get, getting the paint and making plays. So come Friday, they do the same thing, game plan. Uh, take you know me and Steph off the three-point line. We got to be aggressive when, we get, when our big fellas get that ball and uh, find the open man. It's that simple. We find the open man, we're impossible to beat. What was the first thing you guys were saying when you went in the locker room after winning this game? It felt good. We yelled some stuff. No one knew what we really yelled, but it just felt good to build out some things because it was an emotional game. Quick turnaround, though. It's not like we can enjoy this all night. We uh, came here to do a job, and we still got 48 minutes left. But you understand that you are this close. You can taste it. Yeah, you can definitely feel it. It's so close, so there should be no nothing left out on the floor Friday. We give it our heart, and we should be in a good position to win. Given the history of the finals, no team has come back. What do you expect from Cleveland Friday? Well, that was the case in 2016, too. Look how that ended up. So can't relax. And we're going to ride this wave into Friday. Uh, we learned some things tonight we can do to execute against their defense. So we just got to stay hungry. It's that simple. Can you tell us one thing that was shouted out in the locker room? <laughs> a lot of let's go. A lot of heck yeses, the G version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a lot of... It's a lot of raw emotion. It felt good. It's why you play sports, honestly. I'm, I'm going to miss that locker room camaraderie the most probably when I stop playing. Great.